What's up, y'all? Nope, so we got those. It's Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Season 2, Episode 5, if I'm not mistaken. Go ahead and hit that like button. Get it, get it, get it, get it, hit it. I'm just letting y'all know right now. Um, I'm going to try to go through everybody, but like... I just really want to talk about two bitch ass, you know, ninjas in in this episode, cause that's kind of well, it's only three, but look, let let's get into these notes. So, um, it's uh Mama and uh, Moniz. Mama is act, Mama looks really good for her to be forty seven, y'all. That that woman look good. And I, and I, I was thinking of hitting like for her to be. It's it's a deeper relationship i mean it's a it's something deeper going on between them two but mona's got a kind of different approach because she had april and her mom on the first season that's trying to fix mona i mean monice and her mom on this episode i mean on this season I'm like all right girl you're trying to be uh what's her name eona fix my life but you know you kind of the ratchet version but it, it it's cute for you it's cute for you and it's cute for love and hip-hop and vh1 so they thank you so no, is saying her mom is judgmental, and I mean, mama, she birthed you, so I mean, she gonna say what she gonna say. That's that's any of them, but you know, evidently, it's more stuff about her. Is Drew a boy name? Is it Drew? Little Fizz, whatever you know about Little Fizz and about Cam. But at first, I was. Not for the mom at first, then until she started talking, because she's like, "No, you need to do your singing career. You need to do this. You need to do that. You need." To do. I'm like, "Uh, huh? oh, hold up. You know she has the dog. I mean, she has a son, right?" And then she started talking about, "Like, yeah, you need to pray yourself for your son." And I'm like, "Yeah, that's her first part. To forget the singing and da da da. You get your son together, and then she, you know, she tell you need to do all this and get back in place. So I understand what she was saying. So it was cute for them to, you know, work out and all that good stuff. So that's that, y'all. We get to so you. Soldier, <laughs> Soldier Boy, don't tell him. Uh, no albums. Um, I got a, a T on my forehead. Um, they walking out with a <laughs> supposed shopping bags and stuff, and they're talking about knives. And I'm so sick of them talking about knives. It's irritating the hell out of me. I don't care about that hoe, her red hair, or none of that. Like, it's she irritating me. Like, is she, y'all, is that hoe? I mean, is she on the, um, is she on the screen? I mean, is she on the credits or whatever it's called, the theme? Whatever the hell it is. Is she on there? Because I, I don't know. I'm just like, they beating me in the head with this crap, and it's irritating me. And so, Soldier Boy Dumbass is telling Nia, we gonna, we, we gonna arm me up together. We gonna resolve this and solve it. All right, so we get to <laughs> y'all. We get to Amber and Miles, and Amber needs to reevaluate her si her situations because she just don't know. This is what she said: "You and Milan, you guys are on Instagram you said you having problems. You on Instagram hanging out with girls." I was like, "Okay, you don't know, you don't know that. So that, that's cool. We understand that." She had, I think, she said. Um, you were stunning me around. I was your girl and blah, 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 blah. She said something to the fact that um, you parade me like a trophy. Boom. Red flag one. Um, I was this. I was your wifey. Two. Most of us really don't, you know, do that. Leech on like that. It's just sex and this. And it was something else. But I'm like, girl, that's cold for being a beard. You're a Beard, a beard. That's what you want. But he loves you. But you're gonna be his beard, and as a best friend. But evidently they they was dating. So I don't wanna get into that. But bitch, your beard. And just it, it is what it is. Just get over it. Damn, I'm dark, and I'm lovely. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was it for that. It was cute to see Miss Denise. I is it Shauna? I'm just called Miss Denise because that's how I remember that. Her look, Mister and Mrs. We uh, we just day twenty six. The day twenty six people. <laughs> we were talking about them. Willie was talking about you know they moved to this house and they're actually really cute. I like their little um, their little get up how they are and they they seem legit. So we we gonna. 
<laughs> they seem legit and, and they they got real folks problems like no joke <clears throat> so we get to uh, Monice and, and Richard not Richie Dollars but Richard and they're moving like, evidently he moving in and all this good stuff and they talking about uh, what's going to change what's going to be different and you're going to see my mom and oh surprise we're going to go you know to a um, we're gonna go eat. I'm just like, okay, we'll see where this goes. And you know, Rich is just like, all right, we'll see. You know what everything is gonna be about when it comes up. And really nothing important, y'all. So we get to Nas, Nia, and Soldier Boy. And this is where the receipts come in. And this is where the first bitch ass ninja comes into place. So. Nia is like, no, Nas is like, what is she doing here? I thought it was supposed to be me and you in a little confession. I'm just like, girl, sit your ass down and do what you got to do. Get your little coin. Y'all were calling people. You saying y'all were sharing panties and she, you just, she just don't care that she oh, I mean, girl, that's good for you. I'm not mad at you at all. Do what you do. And if you're getting coin for this, get your coin and move on. Like the list of people that said you done had sex with is Girl, girl, <laughs> god damn, that's all I'm gonna say. But that's that would be whole shaming. I'm not whole shaming. Do what you do because you're on the show and I'm not, but I'm not, I'm not gonna go there. But okay, so yeah, Nas is um talking and she was like, Yeah, you need to tell Nia what you told me, and I was just over your house yesterday, and you saying she your girlfriend was today, and then. <laughs> Yeah, as uh, Nas was talking, he was like, "You want to see? She want to see the phone? This fool gonna uh, be in the crisis. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't think this through. I didn't think all this would happen. You didn't think that girl would have receipts. I ain't gonna go into detail, but Nas talking to uh, Nas is talking to Soldier Boy. Nia, they're like, "Bitch, I can rather read this, but A B the T." That um, now I see for myself what Nas was saying. Why are you sitting over here with me? I'm like, bitch, if you don't, if you don't get your shit together. But yeah, um, she, the wheels are slowly turning. They're slowly turning. She's like. I ain't never been happy in a confession. I ain't never been happy with situations and all that stuff. But I didn't think he would ever do to me what he did to me. Now. Really? Is you serious? But okay. So yeah. After all that said and done. Yeah, I forgot what escalated. Oh. Um, I think uh, Nia was like, girl, whatever. Do what you do. Oh, oh, girl was like, you should thank me. She was like. I would never thank a hoe. And I was like, oh, bitch, okay, man. One point for you. But what you didn't do was when Nas got up and threw a drink on you, you were supposed to get up too. Like, girl, do you, girl, when a bitch pop up, you pop up, you rise to the occasion. So you be prepared for whatever she's getting. You, she got to, oh, just, come on now. I mean, what, 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 what's really hood? What's really going on? I'm like, me, a girl. And what was funny before it even escalated, Soldier Boy had the nerve to say, I have so many bitches on my dick. And I'm just like, I have so many bitches on my dick. This is nice. This is Nia. How about y'all just both beat his ass? But I mean, you would think hoes or fun flock together, but not them hoes. Not them hoes. So, um,. Like I said, a homegirl, she got some good licks off of Nia from what I could see. But Nia just, I guess she was just, she was, I guess she was in awe about what happened. Because evidently she thought that Soldier Boy was faithful. Y'all, I'm, I'm done talking about this stupid crap. He a fool. He gonna give her his chain and stuff. And she, she wasn't in thrall or nothing. She didn't, she barely kissed him. But evidently his dumb ass still think they in a relationship. Which I'm pretty sure they are, but you know, sure I played it fun for the camera. So we're moving on. Um, Miles and Milan. Miles dumbass got the damn tattoo, and that's about it from there. He still wants her to. Uh, he wants her. He still wants 
damn Milan still wants mouse you know to tell him hey bro you need to tell a girl about our relationship and it's the same old thing with Lon. He don't want to break her heart. Yada, yada, yada. So, yeah. <laughs> At first, I thought this was fake. But Ray J had a song called Brown Sugar. And it's supposed to be starring Lil Wayne. And he was actually on the show, y'all. He was on the show. <laughs> but, yeah. It was funny. He was talking to old boy. And some dude. I forgot his name. And he was like, maybe Tierra, you know, is setting you up and all that stuff. And I'm just like, you think, bitch? You think? No professor eyesight. Like, really? Come on now. But, um, who we get to, sh uh, oh, this was like one of my favorite parts. Damn. Willie's uh, wife, and then April, Willie's wife was like, Look, I might have to get back on the strip pole. I ain't scared to put on them boots and work and twerk and isolate and dip. Like, for real. Throw that ass in a circle 10 times to get my kids what they need. And April's like, Look, boo. You might think you want to do it, but, you know, this is L.A. You need to think about it. We in our 30s. I'm like, girl, she wants a girl. So I'm going to do what I got to do. <laughs> Y'all see April sip the water like, okay, girl, but it's going to be bad for you. <laughs> but she right. You got to do what you got to do. You got to get on pole. You got to do a split. Do what you got to do for your children. That's, hey, I do what you got to do. So, um, yeah, we get to <laughs> Mama Mo, Mama Monice, Monice and Richie Dollars. Y'all, I live for Mama Monice. I don't care what nobody say. Um, I know she probably is not the, well, I don't know what the situation is between her and her mother. But as far as her to Rich, child, the shade. She was nice at first, you know, with the handshake. She sat down. And I think she proceeded to be nice, but it's the truth. You, she about to be thirty. I think she's twenty. Uh, old girl, twenty seven. Mom was forty seven. Like I said, she looked good to be forty seven. Rich, I didn't know Rich was that damn old. I know he was four years old. Of course, not old, but you know the difference. So he was. She was like less round. Um, forty seven. She's say thirty, and you're forty, correct? He was like, yeah. So she's basically a kid. I'm gonna call you a boy since I'm older than you. He was like, yeah, I like to round too, and you're close to fifty. And she was like, <laughs> you got jokes, jokes. You got those. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so let's get to this. Do you know you got child support? <laughs> Your name is Richard Dollars, but you ain't got the dollars to give to your children. I was like, oh, bitch. <laughs> bitch. Girl, you get to high five that shit. I was like, you. So, um, he uh, started attacking her. He was talking about, you talking about me. and You want to throw stone and shade and all that stuff. But you need to see what house you're living in because it can be glass. She's like, no, bitch. I'm concrete. I'm like, ooh. She y'all, she came. She came for that ass. And it was it was good. That's all I'm saying. I ain't care for nothing Rich was saying. I don't care for nothing he's saying. He was sleazy ball anyway. So y'all, we get to Brown Sugar and like you said, we see Lil Wayne. This is when Princess comes in. Princess is over all this bull crap. And he was telling she was telling him that it was all a trap and he ate the cheese. Whoever wrote that needs to be fired. I'm sorry. That was so fucking cheesy. Damn it, and I said cheesy. Damn. But for real, I was like, really, y'all? But her whole thing was, in which this part was real, she was mad that he went, she went to jail for him, and she told me he was a bitch ass ninja number two. That's number two. So uh, once we got done with that, y'all, um, Miles, it says he's going to April, and he's going to tell her that he's. Um, that he is, you know, ready to go. I mean, ready to, um, damn, propose. Ready to tell her his situation, but he never does. And look, does he know Malunt is uh, <laughs> creeping in his beam or just beaming? I can be, I come a man cheating, but he didn't see him cheating. He just saw him over at April's house. I mean, Amber's house. And they, he'd get back to the uh, house and, like, Damn, that's a lot of that's a lot of houses, wasn't it? <laughs> they get back to the house. He, my mom's like, "Where have you been?" I was over my aunt's house all day. Yeah, all day. Did you see Amber? He was like, "That day, 
I, but where you at your I was at my uh, aunt's house or whatever. He was like, I followed you. He was like, okay. So where was you? And then Mal, child, Mouse is, <laughs> why are you mad? Why is this? What's, what's the problem? What are you talking about? So Milan ain't got a time to be played for no food. He threw his stuff out and that was it. That was the episode. But y'all, I'm ready for next week. Because little B is going to y'all. I don't care if she is crazy. She was not there, and she stood up for Hazel E when Nikki Stanky ass didn't do anything. Cause she know if that drink would have spit on her, all her edges would have been gone. That's all I'm saying. I hope y'all like it. <laughs>